about a year ago, in the summer of uh, 2011, after graduating, we began a conversation um, and developing a partnership between the West Dallas Community Centers and the Middle School of the Arts Division of Art. It was through uh, these efforts that we were trying to follow some of the recommendations from Creative Time in establishing a way that artists can really engage with the communities uh, of, of Dallas itself. As part of this, we also developed a course where our students were taking an active role in developing uh, and uh, also considering what material it is that they wanted to look at, what some uh, topics they wanted to explore while we were actually carrying out these projects out in West Dallas. Um, uh, there was a high degree of collaboration, there has been a high degree of collaboration uh, with the students. For the most part, um, we addressed social issues, but also the academic needs of the students at both the Baton and McMillan Center. Um, we try to initiate these projects with staff, community members, even some of the children at the center, through conversations and kind of having them be part of actually the development of the projects that we're carrying out um, month to month as we uh, continue our work in West Dallas. One of our breakthroughs was Little Voices. Uh, it was the first time that the, actually, the students were able to really start talking about some of the issues that they face on a daily basis living in West Dallas. Not only were they addressing things like violence and drugs, but they were kind of coming really specific answers to some of the questions we were asking of them. Things like, that's the house where the drugs come from. Here is where this violent uh, okay, uh, situation happened. Uh, these are students that are, are young, and that have not been given the opportunity to actually address some of these issues and have these conversations with adults. La Taqueria Chilanga is uh, another um, small business that we approached in um, developing kind of projects with them as well. Uh, Teresa and Juan Vara are owners of La Taqueria, and uh, they've been there for 16 years. It started off as a fruit stand, and now they're at risk of displacement, and there's an anxiety there with the new development that's taking place in West Dallas. Uh, what ended up happening is we developed this project called La Chilan Galeria Invitational, which essentially uh, invited artists from the university to develop uh, works of art, performances, poetry, writing, um, you know, and this uh, makeshift musical band in front of the actual taqueria, and bringing attention to this small business. Um, this work is still on view, you can still visit. During the actual uh, event, we were able to hand out free uh, prints uh, to the actual customers that were visiting the site. We had some of them actually participate in the performances themselves. Um, it's also kind of this recipro reciprocal relationship. We want the students to also understand where we're coming from, that we are from a university. And we create these bridges between two very different locations, a university uh, at University Park and you know, with this community center in West Dallas. Um, this particular exhibition was one uh, of outsider artists who were producing work at the same time that they were facing great adversities, whether it was uh, issues with violence, issues with drugs, or issues with mental institutions. And uh, it provided us an opportunity to show them that there's a lot of artists out there that still create work even when they're facing uh, this kind of adversity. Um, along with the projects that we carry out, we also try to create bridges with other uh, programs within the university and other nonprofits working out in West Dallas. This is one of the projects that we work with the Dallas Mexican American Historical League, and essentially they created performances uh, out of different mappings that they created from the physical sites in West Dallas. Um, we had, you know, the, the dancers provided some of our students with some lessons. Uh, we had Jesse Zaragoza, who's an architect that we work with on other projects as well. And we had, you know, Janice bergman Carton, who's our, you know, chair for the art history department at SMU. I found out about Shepard Ferry's uh, mural work uh, in West Dallas, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity for him to be in West Dallas and not to meet my students. I think they're a special group of students, and he was very open to actually stopping his work and having conversations with the children, providing them with stickers, providing them with an opportunity to be interviewed for his website and for other um, projects that he's carrying out. This uh, next project is um, one called Art Burst, and it was the only event during the bridge -rama celebrations of this bridge opening that took place in the actual community was developed and composed of by community members and community organizations. And uh, it was situated at the Baton Center. It was an opportunity for us to really reconsider and activate the spaces that surround these, this uh, center itself and bringing in you know, different performers, including uh, the mariachi and the Valerio from Griner uh, Elementary or Exploratory Academy. Um, it provided this opportunity to have really 
an interesting dynamic between SMU students, uh, students at the centers, the staff at the centers, and uh, Big Thought also used the site as their first run for uh, the flash mob that took place on the bridge. This in itself uh, also opened up new avenues for us to pursue as artists existing in the site uh, with the nonprofits that were also collaborating with us on those projects. The Paseo project uh, was initiated as a continuation of the mapping project that the history department had carried out in West Dallas. Essentially, we first started gauging the relationship of the people in this community to the physical sites of streets, of uh, uh, historical sites, uh, venues that uh, were at one point important to the community but have since become a, a defunct. defunct. Uh, we created maps and we created flags with stories from the community members that were planted along the route of the procession in this, in this situation and eventually ended up at the levees where we kind of declared, along with the students, that this site belongs to West Dallas. Um, as an artist and as an artist collaborating with these, with these students, with these community members, my autonomy has not been affected. I, I feel very much an as an independent artist. Um, there's, uh, our shared authorship does not make the message of the work any less important. And I think the conversation needs to continue from here in determining how you know, serious philanthropic efforts and funding through the public funding through the city can actually uh, pursue and establish a way that these projects can be carried out not only in West Dallas, but in other areas of the city which could benefit from an artistic intervention. Thank you.